I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will understand basics about representing vectors in R3 that means in three dimensional space. So we will look into how to represent vectors in three dimensional spaces and we will consider basis vectors, position vectors, standard unit form and component form of vectors. Now what are basis vectors? As you did in R2 the vectors i, j, k, i, j, and k forms the basis vectors for R3. Now these are unit vectors which I will be representing in this form, right? So that means the unit vectors. Even if I write i, j, k, since I cannot bold them while writing, you should think that these are unit vectors, correct? Now these are the three unit vectors which are like if you look at the corner of your room it looks kind of like this Do you see that so that is how it looks like right so whenever we'll make or represent vectors in 3d we are going to use these three axes now this is our x-axis so let me use a, a different thing to show you how to represent i j k so let us say i is one unit along the x direction this is x direction that is my vector i j is along y axis so this is j and the vector k is along z axis so this is my vector k and these are of unit magnitude right so that's what you have to assume now this is my x axis y axis and z axis so look at the corner of the room and that represents your axis and vectors with unit magnitude along x-axis is i, along y-axis is j and along z-axis is k. Now what is a position vector? So when we say position vector, normally here we have origin. So this point right at the center is the origin and center will have coordinate points 0, 0, 0. That means along i, j and k it is 0 units, correct? So it is a 0 vector at the origin. So position vector is any point in the space from origin. So that is what position vector is. So generally I could write position vector as OP with a line on top. Sometimes I'll put an arrow. Okay. Sometimes when I print it out I may print it out as a bold thing. So that means a vector for you. Okay. So position vector OP means a vector whose tail is at origin. So in this case tail is at origin which is 0, 0, 0 and head, head will be at the point P. Uh, let me say ABC. Okay. So it could be a point ABC. So line joining from the origin to that point will be the position vector. Correct. Now this uh, vector, let's say position vector, could be represented in different forms. We could write this in standard unit form using i, j, k or in component form like I wrote here. Right. So let me tell you what is standard unit form and what is component form. So, if I write a vector which is kind of, uh, let us say we again write OP and I could write OP as, let me give you some numbers this time. Let's say uh, 3i plus 4j plus 5k, for example, right? So, where i, j, k are the unit vectors, 3 three units along i axis so op so this is standard unit form right and the same vector could be written in component form i could write the same vector op as equal to components uh, 3 4 and 5 so if i say 3 4 and 5 it means the component along x axis is 3 component along y axis is 4 and the component along z axis is 5 I hope the point is very clear, right? Now let me also show you that in case I have to sketch it and find where point P is, how am I going to do it? So the way is that we have to use three units to along the x. So this is one, 
then say 2 and 3 let's say this is my 3 units so so 3i so this will be 3i for me so from here to here will be 3i now we add 4j that means 4 units along y which is parallel to the y axis correct so let me go 4 units so we say 1 2 3 and 4 right so these are my 4 units so I'll say 4 j do you get the point so this is 4 units towards y right and now when I say 5 k it means I have to go up 5 units in z direction so so we could go up let's say let's say let me just show you how one and then we say two and then we say three four and five right so we reach here so this is five k do you see that five k right so i may or may not write this because you know it becomes very tedious while explaining so that position represents o B. you get the idea so if I have to join with tail on the origin and head there so this vector represents OP do you understand now so so let me write down here OP now for you OP so that is how we are going to locate any vector in three space correct now as an exercise what you can do is that you can complete this this rectangular prism right so so once you complete this rectangular prism you will exactly see how it looks like right so so I'm not doing that for you in this particular video in the next video we will do it right so that is how I think you can understand and appreciate how we could represent a particular vector Right. now let me give you a uh, few questions here so let us say you practice this finding the vector uh, and placing it on three space right so so let me give you a few vectors let us say uh, one vector is let us say o a so vector o a is let us say 2i minus 3j plus k so how will you find or how will you sketch vector OA using i, j, k as your basis vector. So that is your question. Let's follow it up with few more and let us say next question for me is vector OB. If I say the vector OP is 2, let us say j minus k, right? that means what right so that means that the component along i is zero that means it is on the plane y and z you get the point right so so that this vector is on the plane y and z and question number three is for you to draw a vector in the x z plane right so x z plane so so you can write your own vector and draw one in x z plane that is you understand which plane i'm talking about i'm talking about this plane you get the idea this plane right so that is what we're talking about correct so try to sketch vectors and uh, see if you understand the concept so move on to the next video so you'll understand a bit more about vectors in R3. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.